Hi guys and welcome to another video series about let's build an amplifier. So I have a chassis sitting on my desk over there and this uh, video series will gonna be more parts because I have uh, maybe like uh, three amplifiers boards that they can go in that chassis and I will choose the best one. So without further ado, let's get closer to my working bench and start build this chassis. This is all the parts for this chassis, so this is the top plate, it is going to be the top plate, this one. Then we have the heat sinks, which are coming on the sides over there. Something like that. And then we have the front and rear plate over here which are still in the foil because I don't want to scratch them because they look really nice and every single component that I am going to use for this build including also the amplifier boards which I am going to build later in other uh, parts of this uh, video series because in this video, video we're gonna do this chassis and all the power supply to see how many volts we are we are getting from the power supply because the transformer I will not be able to put any link on the description because I find it very cheap like five pounds on auction on eBay so definitely there is not a link for that one because it was only one piece in auction and I win it just with five pounds which is really bargain so here we have Lots of screws that come with this kit, so it's a get, I get this one from AliExpress. You're gonna find the link on the description down below, and we're gonna do put the parts. I think the heat sinks also I will not put yet. I'm gonna put only the back, the rear plate because I have the power socket, the output uh, connection, binding post for speakers, and uh, input uh, RCAs. So this one we're gonna mount it over there. And we're gonna put the big transformer over here, the rectifier board with the capacitors over here, and we're gonna put uh, a soft start and also the speaker protection. So let's get started. So you can see I already pre wired the AC socket over here, and I leave the cables long, long because I'm gonna cut them to the right length because this one we're gonna sit here. And I have here sitting the soft start board. So once I'm gonna install the soft start board, I'm gonna cut the cable to the right length what I need. So let's start mounting the soft start board over here. So this is the soft start board which I am using to use. I got it from AliExpress, it was really cheap. And you're gonna find the link on the description down below. And this one it will gonna definitely sit over here. So let me mount it over there and we're gonna carry on with the work. And now that our soft start is already installed there and the button uh, someplace here it will gonna sit. I can put the rear panel and uh, cut the wire to the right length that I need because I need one wire to come straight away to the soft start, second wire to run here to the button and from the button back to the soft start. So let me do also that one, we're gonna carry on. So you can see I already wired the live wire that comes to the switch. After the switch goes to the soft start, the null goes to the soft start straight away and then from here we are connecting our transformer. Make sure always that you are isolating the mains like how I did also there, how I did also there, because like that is more, um, less risk that you might touch any wire and it got uh, electro shock. So next up, I will gonna say that I'm gonna install my uh, speaker protection board and I'm gonna come with the wire from the speaker, from the speaker to the sp protection board. So let me show you which protection board I'm using for the speakers. So this is the speaker protection I'm gonna use here and uh, it will gonna sit somewhere there like that like so or maybe here I'm gonna see how, how where is the best option for me I think there and I can come with the wires 
because this one is output so I can come with the wires here and from the other channels over there so yeah so let me mount this one here and do also the wiring and we're gonna carry on speaker protection board also it's in mounted securely and also wired so this one goes to this channel and this one goes to this channel and I left the inputs uh, really gentle generosity length of uh, wires because like that maybe this wire needs to come from here going to this side to be connected to this uh, channel and this one yeah it will gonna be connected to this channel over here depend of which board I'm gonna use because one of the sets of boards sit on the bottoms over here and the other two sets of board they can sit on the radiators or in the heat sinks so they can go like that so i'm gonna see and now next step what it will gonna be is to yeah this is the earth uh, wire that uh, i'm gonna see where i think this it will gonna be an empty hole and i can use it for a ring to put it there because when you are building something on a metal chassis make sure you earth it because that's how the procedure goes a metal chassis must be earthed now the next step I'm going to do because transformer is uh, the toroidal is heavy so I'm going to put it to the last part over here and next part it will going to be to build up uh, this power supply board with the capacitors with the rectifier bridge and it will going to sit on these four uh, holes so let me do that one and we're going to carry on here we go our power supply is ready so we have 20,000 microfarad capacitors two rectifier bridge for each wending and then uh, at the end it will gonna be positive zero negative so this one it will gonna sit properly here so let me install it this one in uh, to put the screws and uh, mount it and then we're gonna carry on power supply also is fixed in place really well and the last step is to put the big transformer over there so all this stuff you're gonna find the link in the description below from where i get them because they're very cheap and look how we can bob with the nice amplifier with not uh, spending too much money so let me install the transformer over there and we're gonna do all the connections so power to the transformer and then transformer powering the power supply and we're gonna measure some voltages to see if it's everything uh, working how should so the transformers is in place all connections are done so the power comes there here power comes to the button back to here and for these wires we are powering the rectifier bridges with the smoothing capacitors and with these two wires we are powering the speaker protection module so let's turn on and see if it's working so relay click this one first from the soft start and then clicking off the a little bit of delay the speaker ones i'm gonna try now the speaker ones if they uh, working on dc so i set up my power supply over here with the two volts so if i put two volts dc across the output let's see if the relay click in so i've even heard the relay go off so this means it's protecting the speaker just only for two volts dc now let's measure the voltages on our power rail supplies over there and if it's everything correct we can call it a success so ground negative 47.27 and positive 47.25 so almost balance it balance it so everything is working fine and uh, on the next part because i don't want to make the video very long on the next part we're gonna build the first Ah, let me also show you the, the the module that I say about the amplifier boards and then uh, we're gonna see which one we're gonna build first one so let me just take off the power to don't get any shock around here and I can take off this one and I'm gonna show you which boards I'm gonna have to build them so here we go here I have uh, as I say three three amplifier boards that I can build so I have this module over here with all the parts together that I need to mount 
So I have one. Then I have the second one, which is in this bag over here. I hope that I will not lose all the parts. So I have the second amplifier over here, which is this one. And I have the third one, which is this one. This amplifier is the third one. So we're gonna build the next part of this uh, project. Let's build an amplifier. One of these amplifiers over here. And we're gonna test and we're gonna see how the sound. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a like. Please subscribe, activate the notification bell like that. You'll not miss, miss the next part when I'm gonna start building one of these amplifiers and test it. And until the next video guys, have a good day and bye bye!